Hello everybody and welcome to our fourth episode of the season of Behind the Hype. I am Nassau Reyes and I am here at Memorial Stadium with two very spirited people, Mike Manager Bill Kreiser and Mike Woman, Hyatt Koffler. Thank you for being with us here today. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure. Awesome. So first off, I want to thank you guys for all you do for Cal Spirit and Cal Athletics. You guys help create such a unique experience at the games. So for the people who don't know, what does a Mike Man do? And the time commitment that comes with it. Can you explain that? Aya? Yeah, so uh, the Mike Men are one of the spirit groups here at Cal. So we work with Cal Band, Oski, Rallycom, Cheer, and Dance to help everyone at the university get that Cal spirit going. Um, there's four of us total. There are the graduating seniors, Tate and Isaac, and then us, who are going to be juniors next year, uh, myself, Aya, and Jabril. And uh, we lead cheers at all the games through the analysis of plays, coordination with the other Mike Men, watching the media officials. And um, it goes beyond that, though. It goes also to the rallies, uh, alumni events, appearance requests, and just making sure everyone really gets a sense of the high caliber performance we have in the classroom and on the field. In the time commitment, Jabril, it must be a lot of work. Well, not necessarily. It depends how you define work. So we actually enjoy this a lot. So it's not really work. It's a lot of fun. But at the same time, we are uh, at every single game, every single home football game from 9 a.m. maybe to 5 p.m. sometimes starts and for basketball games we get there half an hour early just to check things out so as you can see there is a lot of time commitment but at the end of the day it's not work it's a lot of fun so it seems like you guys are both very passionate about it and it seems like passion drove you guys to try out mm -hmm. what are some other reasons that you guys tried out to be Mike Man and Woman to go starting with you I tried out to be Mike Man when I saw what they were capable of doing so when I saw them say give me a C and the entire student section just erupted and I was standing right in the front row of the football game and it just inspired me immediately to just come up and walk up in the middle of the quarter and just say hey what do you guys do I'm going to do what you do and they said hey stick around so I stuck around and got an application I got in the spring semester last year and filled it out and applied and now I'm here so that's what drove me. We're proud to have you as a Mike man. We definitely enjoyed your time up on the stage. And Haya, it's definitely interesting for you uh, for reasons why you tried out. Could you elaborate? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I grew up in sports. Before coming to Cal, I was a full-time athlete. So I trained in the morning, go to school in the afternoon, train again at night. And my mom worked NFL and NASCAR. So I just like grew up in it. And it really hits home close to me that just like watching a great gameplay, right? Because my team growing up was my family at times when I didn't maybe have one. And then I also did a lot of speech and debate and just the ability that words have to, you know, evoke emotion and cause it and get a crowd going. It's just, it's something unlike anything else. So put the two together and I was like, yes, this is it, you know? So you guys both do a lot of work and the fans see you, they see the trademark tie, and they, but who is the person behind the mic? Who is Hyatt Koffler and who is Jabril Kaiser? Hyatt, maybe start off with you. Oh God. Oh no. Put me on the hot seat. Ah! I mean, I like long walks on the beach. No, okay. <laughs> I, you know, I just, student, I love getting to do what I do. Um, like I said, really into sports, huge Harry Potter fan. I like dancing. I, I like Beyonce. I mean, yeah. Favorite uh, book. Favorite Harry Potter book. Book? No, they're all good. Okay, you can't make me choose. Answer. Great come answer. on. Come on. Yeah. All right, and Jabril, so who is Jabril Kaiser? Jabril Kaiser is a very unique person, I'd say. <laughs> True. Political activist, political activist, scientist, botanist, ecologist. Uh, but more so, I'm a conservation resource studies major here at Berkeley. I like to study the way that plants interact with the ecosystem around them. Uh, you can call me like a plant nerd if you'd like to say that. But uh, that's what I like to study, that's what I enjoy doing. Being Mike Man is so different from that, it kind of gives me an escape. But at the same time, I love doing both things, but you can't do, I can't do everything at the same time. So that's who I am, really. So you just finished your first year as Mike Man and Mike Woman, respectively. And next year, you guys will be leading a new group of Mike Man. Mm -hmm. What were your most memorable moments of the season last year, and what are you looking forward to next year? Starting off with you, Bill. Okay, off the top of my head, the most memorable moment of last year was when that Arizona game came down to a kick. And I remember Matt Anderson taking the kick from the around 35 yard line and drilling it in for the win. And that was crazy to me because it was a game over Thanksgiving break and the student section was still packed. 
and it was louder than it and it, than it I was ever in the been. Section. Exactly, I, I was remember there. you there. And so that game was probably the craziest things that happened. One of the craziest things that has happened to me in Memorial Stadium, and by far the most memorable moment of the season. For high for you, what was the most memorable moment of the season? Um, I mean, I think it was the last home basketball game, right, with all the seniors there, and Nick Kerr had a couple attempts, and then once he got in, I saw parents, weren't even his parents, just like crying, <laughs> bawling, Haas Pavilion was going wild, and it was just undefeated at home. It was a great moment, and I was so happy to be a part of it. Well, that, bro, you wore red shoes to interview with the white man. Uh, I don't, should I, should I take them off? Take should you take them off? Uh, okay, just give me a second. Honestly, disrespectful. All right, I, I apologize. Okay. <laughs> Well, um, thank you for being on the show. Uh, thank, thank you for throwing my shoe. Thanks, Obviously, I, I had it coming. I'll take off the other one soon. Well, good luck with next season. We're really excited to see you guys, more experience, leading the cheers up here in Memorial Stadium and at the basketball game. So can we get a Go Bears on three? One, two, three. Go Bears! <laughs> Who is the messiest? <laughs> hey, Nick's owning up to it. Nick is the messiest. I'm not even messy, but every time there's one dish in the sink, Maddie yells at me for having not cleaned for weeks. So <laughs> apparently, I'm extremely messy. Are we good? Yeah. <laughs>